Hey everyone, it's Wavy Shadow yet again. Yes, I'm actually catching up with myself anyway. The next movie, I have gone back up to the number three. It is called Three Way. Now, this is a movie that went straight to DVD. Now, don't immediately think this is going to be bad, because some movies that have gone straight to DVD actually are good. It's a very slim chances, but some are good. Like Equilibrium, if you've ever seen that. Anyway, I'll... I'll Anyway, the movie is called Three Way. It's got really no name actors. It's got Dominic Purcella in it, and if you watch Blade Trinity, he was Dracula. If you watch Prison Break, he's the uh, Burroughs, the guy who's in jail for being framed. I don't know. Can't remember. Uh, anyway, now uh, from the first, like, this is the first thing I'll say. The cover is how it describes the movie is totally wrong of how it dis how the movie actually is. When you look at it, it looks like some sort of cheap uh, money scheme with sex in it, like wild things or something. And there's also what's saying on the front, it's uh, something about uh, it's so hard to keep a secret when... It's hard to keep a secret when everyone tells... I don't know. Anyway, what it means is pretty much it's hard to keep a secret because everyone else tells about it. Uh... And that really never happens. There's really no secret that isn't, like, spread around and shit. Anyway, what's it ab it's about? Dominic Persala is a guy who's living off in uh, California, and he makes signs for places. And he's just putting these signs out on the road, and then he uh, kind of rolls down. Like, he, he, he hears people in this car. And he walks down, and he, by chance, and they're talking about kidnapping someone. And he gets in, he hears about it. So he decides to get himself involved with it. And he's got a girlfriend, and, uh... Oh, so if you're looking for sex in this movie, there's, like, I don't know, three scenes. One where you see anything, so if you're looking for some... Yeah, it's not there. So, uh, just telling you that now. It's actually... Anyway. The... Uh, it goes off and on, like, there's even this little random story where there's a sort of hitman who's after Dominic Purcella for some reasons. I don't want to give away the whole movie. Anyway, uh, the movie's actually not bad. Like, it, it's not, like, super good, and it's not, like, super original and whatnot. But it actually is a good straight-to-DVD movie. It's not, like, some sort of stupid sex story. It's actually got some, it's got a good, interesting twist in it. And, uh, okay, happy conclusion, which usually these movies don't. They usually don't have a happy conclusion. <laughs> or, well, not one that's not corny or something. Anyway, uh, it's, uh, got, it's got okay character. Dominic Purcell, actually, he's an okay actor. He plays almost the sort of same tough guy person. But you, you gotta give him some sort of hand. The directing was alright. There were some random zoom-ins that were, like, a little bit, whoa. But, like, one scene, this guy is driving up to one of his cars, he's, driving, he's chasing Dominic Purcella. Dominic uh, has stopped his truck, and the guy comes up and stops his car, and then all of a sudden, the camera switches to inside the car, and Dominic goes, BAM! Right through the window. And it's so well done, because it totally, that totally uh, scared the crap out of me when that did that, because I was like, wow. Anyway. Uh, uh, it, uh, it was okay. Like, some of the characters in the movie are totally useless. The end, well, there's one woman in it who's at, the woman who gets kidnapped is absolutely useless because she dies within, like, 20 minutes by from, for some s kind of stupid reasons. Either way, it's not really a movie I would recommend. It's it's an okay movie, but it's not, like, something woohoo worthy if, if you like Dominic Purcella, sure. But besides that, there really is no other reason why you would want to watch this movie. Anyway, um, it's a good structure, good, okay, it's good acting. That's actually another thing, there's actually good acting in it. But besides that, there's real no other reason to watch this movie. So I'm going to give it a uh, 4 out of 7. That's kind of being lenient. I really wouldn't say watch this movie. I'm never going to watch this movie again. I really won't care if I ever see it again. But I have to give it some credit because it was actually an okay movie. Anyway, that's all I have to say, so Shadow out.